Hello everyone, Tim and Game here, and today I'm bringing you some more Modern Warfare 3 gameplay. Now this is a domination game on the map bootleg, and I'm using the beast of a weapon that is the UMP. However, before I get into any comments on the gameplay, I would just like to give a massive shout out to a guy called Duran Arts. He has done me a fantastic background, I mean it really does look so professional and it puts me right on the level with all the best backgrounds out on YouTube so I'd just like to thank him massively for doing me the huge favour of doing that for free I mean I can't thank him enough it really just looks so fantastic and if you guys would do me the massive favour and just check his stuff out I mean just the background looks magnificent and I really like to thank him deeply for all the work he put in for it um, I'm not sure if he's going to do any more backgrounds, you know, he did say to me that perhaps this was going to be the last one he does, but if you guys really want a background and you make him a good enough offer, I'm sure he can I'm sure he can rustle something up for you, because he really does some of the most fantastic stuff out there, so big thanks to him. Just a tiny little thing as well, I am looking for someone to make me an intro. Now, I'm looking to, for the intro to feature the graphic uh, that Duranauts did, so the TMM Gamer shield with the Union Jack and the PSN logo, you know, the, the, the image that I'm using is a thumbnail somewhere in the intro, so if you guys are creative, you know, you like doing that sort of thing and you want to help knock me up an intro, I would, you know, be very, very grateful for that and I will give you a shout out and you'd be in my channel box and as a thank you. So that's just another little thing. If you know anyone who does like to do intros, just yeah, send me a PM and I'll uh, I'll approach them and ask what they can do for me. So anyway, that's just all the channel stuff out of the way. Let's get right onto the gameplay. Now, I think I'm finally beginning to find my feet in Modern Warfare 3 because I'm not going to lie, for the first few games, I was struggling a little bit. Well, I wouldn't say struggling. I was going positive every game, you know. That is what I define as struggling in my in my opinion. You know, if I go 18 and 12 in a, in a game, that is when I think, hmm, perhaps I haven't done particularly well there. But what I've decided to do now is play a tiny bit more defensively because what I was doing is going into the game thinking it was Black Ops because in Black Ops, the weapon damage is a little bit less. Well, actually, it's quite a lot less than it is in uh, Modern Warfare 3. So what you can do is be ultra-aggressive because you know if you've got better aim than the guy, you can get right in his face, hit him with four or five bullets, and he's going to go down. However, in Modern Warfare 3, it really doesn't take much to kill someone. So if you're even slightly off when you're being really aggressive, you can be taken down so quickly. So I've adapted my tactics slightly. I'm doing a bit more of a Sandy Ravage. When I rush, I rush with cover in between me and the enemy. Like, like you can see here, I'm in a, a pretty bad position here because the enemy are coming at me pretty strongly. I think there's people above me. So instead of charging out like I would have done in Black Ops, I just use the cover, pick people off, and it helps me get a, a decent kill streak. So, you know, that's the that's my major tip at the moment. If you are struggling, just play a tiny bit slower than you were before, and you know your scores will improve dramatically. And that's exactly what's happened to me so far. You know, I've been playing okay, but I've really began to improve when I've slowed my gameplay down a bit, and I've begun to learn the maps as well because map uh, knowledge is one of the key things in Call of Duty. If you know the better spots, where you can go, the hiding places, the high traffic areas, you can really, really dominate in Call of Duty. And as I begin to play maps more and more, I begin to get a little bit better at knowing where I'm going, you know, and not just running into walls because you can see in my first gameplay, I kept running into doorways that weren't there because I thought, oh, this is a way into the building. I'll turn the corner and run into a wall and you begin to see me not doing that as often. So that's always a good sign. So if you are struggling, just go into a private match, you know, begin to learn some of the more common maps that come up in the rotation. I mean, I've played bootleg a couple of times now in rotation. and I have to say it is one of my favorite maps because it's very, very fast paced. It's very, very close action as well. It is the perfect map for an SMG in my opinion. And that brings me nicely onto the UMP. Now, if any of you guys have played Modern Warfare 2, you would have known that the UMP was the gun considered by almost everyone to be massively overpowered. It was an SMG that was absolutely beastly up close, but was a, a weapon that you could also kill someone across the map with in three bullets. And for an SMG, that was uh, that's quite frankly ridiculous because several times you would see yourself be out-sniped by a UMP when you had a Barrett. So you'd hit someone with a 50 caliber round in the stomach, he'd take the hit and survive it, and then black you down with uh, three submachine gun rounds from across the map. And I'm glad to say that that doesn't happen in Modern Warfare 3. I have not seen that happen yet in Modern Warfare 3 anyway. However, the UMP is still a very, very viable choice. It is my favorite SMG so far. It's very, very powerful. 
there's not much recoil and with the kick proficiency as well there's even less recoil so it really does turn into a laser tag and you know that kick proficiency is one of my most favourite proficiencies at the moment. It's the first one you unlock as well so it doesn't take much hard graph to get it and the reduced, the recoil reduction you get is quite substantial really so even in a very very high power high recoil weapon if you put the kick proficiency on it it becomes a lot more manageable and high power weapons really do become the way to go and the UMP is a very very powerful weapon however it does not have the massive recoil that you would expect from a weapon to of this power so it really is a fantastic choice and if you haven't used it yet I strongly strongly recommend it in, anyway you know my first impressions of Modern Warfare 3 have changed slightly since yesterday you know I was saying that it was a little bit slower than I was expecting and it is but it is still a very very fast paced game and it's still a lot more fast paced than Black Ops is and that's only a good thing because you know a lot of Black Ops were spent searching for the ghost guy in the corner camping away and you know, fortunately, that doesn't happen as much in Modern Warfare 3. However, there is one thing that I'd like to point out. Explosives are still a little bit overpowered, in my opinion. Well, noob tubes are, anyway. You know, the frag grenade does seem to be quite uh, underpowered, but the Semtex is a viable choice, so that's okay if you like to have your grenades. But I found myself getting killed by noob tubes a fair amount. Fortunately, as yet, I haven't had a ridiculous panic knife yet, which is quite good because I was getting like two or three a session in Black Ops. So, for me to have played several hours now and not really be experienced to a quite a horrible panic knife is a good thing. So, they've got that slightly better, if not perfect. But what I would like to see them do now is just slightly nerf the noob tube range and if that noob tube uh, explosive range, sorry, and if they do that, I really think Modern Warfare 3 is going to be absolutely fantastic right then that's enough on the gameplay for the moment just like to ask you a few questions what do you guys want me to focus on in modern warfare 3 obviously i'm going to bring out plenty of commentaries like this you know quite informal quite relaxed tips commentaries giving you ideas talking about weapons talking about the maps you know that's the bread and butter of my channel really it's the commentaries that i think i'm best at and i think the commentaries that you guys like the best as well because i give plenty of tips and they help you get better because that is the entire reason I set up my YouTube channel was to help people get better at Call of Duty. Now, I'm not this massive MLG style player like a Fear Crads, Fear Crads or a Stainville who will charge around the map and get, you know, 120 kills every game and headshot people across the map spinning around with a weapon. But what I can do is play very, very well consistently. And that's, you know, something a lot of players struggle to do. But hopefully with these videos I'll slowly give you little nuggets of information every day that you can put into practice and by you know listening to say 10 or 15 of my commentaries in a row you begin to improve and you get to see your stats improve and that's the thing everybody likes to show off to their friends about their Call of Duty I know you know KD isn't really that important it's all about the win loss for me but yeah, if you have that KD that's just a little bit higher than your teammate and your win loss is a little bit higher you know you can just say yep I'm better at it than you and that's you know a fantastic thing and that's what I hope to show you guys with this channel however that does leave quite a lot of videos for me to do so what are you looking forward for me to do I can do single player run through yeah I'm quite happy to do that I'm on to the last mission now I think I just doing it on regular just to see the story I always do it first get the campaign through see the story and enjoy it but if you guys want me to do a live come through of the campaign I'll be quite happy to do that if you want me to show you how to do some uh, missions on veteran I'd, uh, I'll show you to do that as well because you know I have done the veteran campaign on Modern Warfare 2 in fact I think it was the first game I got a platinum trophy on so I'm quite happy to do a veteran run through you know I'm quite happy to do the veteran run throughs and the spec ops missions with live commentary or commentary over top with tips or whatever so I'm leaving it completely up to you guys obviously commentaries like this will be the bread and butter I'll do map analysis videos tips and tricks videos you know that's the sort of stuff I'm going to be doing however if there's anything else you want me to do please just post a comment or send me a message and I'll be quite happy to do that for you guys because at the end of the day you're the ones who are going to be sitting there watching my stuff and I want you to enjoy it as much as possible so if there's anything you want me to do please don't hesitate to ask and I'll be sure to do it for you anyway the gameplay is slowly wrapping to a close you know it is a good improvement I set my third kill streak as the AC 130 and I think once I was only one kill away from getting it or very very close so this was a gameplay that was very very good but could have been even better and at the end I think I've got like 12 13 assists so Hardline Pro is going to be the perk for me I think I've just unlocked it now I'm level 15 16 or 17 somewhere around there so I'm going to be on Hardline Pro so so much because 
if those assists had given me a few more kills, I would have really hit my kill streaks earlier and would have had an absolutely fantastic game. So Hardline Pro is going to be the perk for me. Anyway, guys, like I've been saying, as the gameplay slowly winds to a close, if there's anything you want me to do, please don't hesitate to ask. You know, this is your channel as much as it is mine, so just go for it. If there's any specific map or weapon you want me to go over, please, like I've said, just ask. Anyway, the final score is 37 and 13 with 12 assists. You know, my scores are slowly improving. I know this isn't the most groundbreaking score, and I'm sure there are better scores out there already, but... It's a fast-paced game, and that's what I'm going to be trying to give you. I'm trying to be giving you gameplay that's aggressive and interesting to watch. So ho I hope you've enjoyed the gameplay. And as always, guys, thank you for watching, and have a fantastic day.